Welcome to this massive shipping container home compound just outside of Fredericksburg, Texas. This spot has four different container homes and eight different units that you can rent. They even have a separate stone farmhouse from the 1880s that has a gorgeous meeting room inside of it. I've been to a lot of properties and this is one of the best that is most optimized for groups. If you're trying to have a large event or even your next big corporate meeting, this is definitely a place you are going to want to check out. And again, they have eight different units. The layouts are pretty much the same. However, the interior design is very different in each unit. Each unit has a different theme, a different decor to it. So we're actually going to be touring eight different spots in today's video. We have a lot to cover. So be sure to stick around towards the end of the video and let me know which of the eight is your favorite. I'll also do my best to kind of mention what my favorite feature is in each of the eight units. And last but not least, I can't stress enough, the location of this spot is perfect. It's only four miles away from Main Street in downtown Fredericksburg, Texas, which if you saw any of my previous Texas videos from last year, you know that Fredericksburg is one of my favorite towns in all of the great states of Texas. So we have a lot to cover today, guys. So without further ado, let's now go and start the full tour. Let's go and check out this massive shipping container home compound right outside of Fredericksburg, Texas. This is the main courtyard area right here. You have this large gas powered fire pit and then a bunch of Adirondack chairs around it. We have a ton of container homes to tour, so let's get to it. The first one has this bright yellow exterior, and it's located closest to the main parking area. The unit on the left is called the Happy Boho, and we're gonna start there first. The interior definitely sticks to the boho theme. You have brightly colored artwork and paint all throughout. We'll go to the kitchen first and you have these bright green cabinets, a small fridge and a big water jug. But my favorite part might actually be the bathroom. You have all the natural light spilling in and look at this gorgeous shower. The bright green tiles immediately caught my eye and you have more artwork in this room as well. Next, let's go into the bed area. You have that really unique headboard with a bunch of elephants carved into the wood. And then here is your relaxation area. There are a ton of pillows. You have that same green paint job from the kitchen cabinets. And you have a nice collection of different books and art pieces as well in this part of the unit. Still in the same yellow container home, we'll now go to the unit on the right, which is called Groovy. Definitely a different vibe in theme overall than the last one we just toured. Here is the kitchen. It's pretty much exactly like the last one, just the layout is inverted and the kitchen tile backsplash feels like something out of the game Tetris. We'll now look to the left of the bed and we'll go into the bathroom and the sort of Tetris style tiles continue here in the shower and you can see your toilet and counter. Into the bedroom now we go. I loved that painting above the bed and then the color scheme continues into this other section. And I know really neither of these two units so far feel like you're in Texas, but I promise in this next container home they will. Let's head to this container. It's sort of a orangey red exterior paint job. You also have that bright blue door, so all of the paint colors definitely contrast. But we'll actually start here first on the unit on the left-hand side, and that one is called the Lone Star Unit. Welcome to Lone Star. You have these two comfy chairs and all of the kitchens have some of the basics like a Keurig, a refrigerator, a toaster oven, and a microwave. Here is a quick glimpse into the shower, and now we're looking in the direction of your bed. You have a more simple wood headboard here, and then this is your seating area. I especially love these two pieces of artwork. They feel very desert themed. Let's switch over to the unit on the right hand side, and this one is called Ristra. 
As soon as you enter straight ahead, you have a beautiful bench and also these two comfortable leather chairs. This is then your kitchen. You have some smaller yellow, orange-ish tiles that make up the backsplash. And some of those tiles continue in the shower. I definitely want the number for the owner's tile guy. I was really impressed, especially in all of their bathrooms. This is what the bed area looks like. You have a painting of a horse above this one. And here is your seating area. But let's not go to the next container home. This one has definitely more of a dark blue exterior to it. You also have that bright door. And we'll go first to the Rosa unit. Now, Rosa means pink in Spanish. So of course, this unit is very pink themed, ranging from the chairs to the tiles that we see in the kitchen and the bathroom. And there's even a quote here from Audrey Hepburn about the color pink inside of this frame. Above the bed, you have these small frames with art inside of them. And this is looking out back towards the kitchen. You can see the bright pink and the dark blue color theme actually continues all throughout. And you have these very colorful pieces of artwork. This property truly does have so many different themes to the different units. This next one is called Shangri-La, so it's a bit more Asian themed. Definitely interesting to find out here in Texas. So really based on any of your design or color preferences, one of these units is going to fit for you. This is a quick peek into the bathroom, and now we'll go into your bed area. I especially loved that gorgeous wood headboard. And then here is your seating area. It has a few different Asian themed items, ranging from different books and art pieces. We'll go now to the fourth and final container home on the property and into the unit on the left called Tranquility. This and the other unit have a bit more of a beachy feel to them. You can tell by the wood backsplash here in the kitchen. You also have some dark blue tiles there in the bathroom. And all throughout, you have a lot of blue tones and more of a water feeling throughout this entire unit. I especially loved that stunning painting there on the right wall of a few different waterfalls. The last container unit is called Lavender on the right hand side. This is what the entry area and your bed looks like. Then you do have that same wooden backsplash in the kitchen. And I was a huge fan of these kitchen countertops. The shower tiles are actually pink in this one. And then again, a little beachy themed because you have a photo of some horses on the beach above the bed. Here is then your seating area. You actually have some books here related to Europe and Ireland. That's it for the containers. Let me know which your favorite unit is down in the comments. We'll quickly go over to their stone farmhouse. It is available to rent, but it's especially great for meetings. If you have a large group, a family, or I think it's great for a company or a corporate outing. I mean, just look at these ceilings. It's a great spot for an event. I'll wrap up this video now to just again, stress the location. Right down the road, you have Main Street, Fredericksburg, Texas. This is the main strip right here with all the different restaurants and shops like the peach basket and caliche coffee which i highly recommend for a great latte and a bite to eat thanks for watching guys and i'll see you very soon for another airbnb tour